Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're out in northern Arizona, and I'm with Matt Frankel. Matt, good to see you. Glad you could make it. And he has some interesting, unique cars in his collection. One of them we're sharing today, what do we have? Uh, this is a 1951 Hudson Hornet Coupe. The fabulous Hudson Hornet. So let's go right to our featured attraction. Now, okay, it's a Hudson Hornet. How cool is that? So. How did this one become part of the collection? Well, I just am almost enamored with the styling of it. And, uh, and then when my dad told me uh, Hudson Hornet was the first car he ever did 100 miles an hour in <laughs> uh, as a passenger, I said, well, I think that needs to be part of the collection. But it was certainly style that first brought me to this car. You know, the challenge now as being someone who runs across the country to share cars with people. If you like this car, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give it the thumb up. Because this car, with its fender chrome hood ornament, fender ornaments, and face, if that doesn't say 50s, early 50s, nothing does. And the Hornet symbol is almost like a rocket. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of the rocket age. Before we got to the moon, this was getting us to the moon. Oh, that's just sweet. Just sweet. So you have the Hornet here, clearly with the rocket and the trail slash tail. It goes all the way to the end. The encased back wheels, and I am curious now, our emblem, our emblem. How do you take that back wheel off? Um, you'd have to ask my mechanic. I stay away from uh, troubling issues like that. Nate, have you ever taken that off? Yeah, they're fenders, they're uh, fender skirts. Show me. And there's a, I don't know. Show us. Thing. Nate, oh. our mechanic, nice <laughs> to see you. Now, nice well, now you're gonna put me on the spot. Uh, sure. You don't have to take them off, but they oh, come okay, off. Okay, there's a, uh, so they, they do come off. They oh, I see off. that. And they're, and I they're, see this now. They're designed so you can take them off on the road and um, change the tire. Um, but we don't disturb anything we don't have to. I so. got you. So you've never <laughs> had to do that. I haven't had to do that. Yet. Look at the intricacy on this door handle. I'll do that so you can see that. Your visors, your sun visors. I mean, they, they used to put these on Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks as sun visor. And one thing I always thought was cool about the Hornet, check out the antenna up the center. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this is a 50s cool car. Even the way the styling of the back window, let me show it to you straight on, how it kind of cups here and here. That's cool. All the extra work they did in the 50s. So, Matt, you drive this one, obviously. Mm -hmm. All of them that are street legal, you drive. Yes. Tell me, what's the, what's the reaction of this one? When well, you're driving it? Um, everybody gives you thumbs up. The style of this car just gets people's attention immediately. And, uh, uh, yeah, I've driven it, and my mechanic, Nate, who you met, has driven it, and every time it goes out, people just are enthused to see it. It's an instant friend maker. Yes. What does this do at a car show? I've never shown it. Really? Yes. Is this the first video of this car? The, in my ownership, yes. Well, we appreciate that. And I mean, even like, look at this. This is the exhaust. And look at the intricacy of that. Can we show the, uh, Nate, do you have the keys for this? Let's open that up, shall we? Let me just show how that, that works too. Just like that. So that little piece comes up, Whoop. covers it. Do I have the right key? There it is. is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> 
Everything is heavy <laughs> on this You car. could fit a body or two in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Here, hold the camera. Just, just hold it. Yeah, don't touch anything. There. It's right there. Get in here, nice and cozy. <laughs> I could get all the way back in there too. <laughs> Man, that's great for drive-ins and everything else. You bring everybody in there. That is awesome. All right, let's close that. Listen to this. Can you hear that? Now this will take your finger off. Listen. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a switchblade. I do want to, we're, we'll open this side, but I do want to show the other side, and there's a reason why. May I? Of course. Thank you. Because this side has that little piece. All steel, mono built. Oh. There we go. Matt, this will be the first time you'll be able to read what this actually says. Probably correct. Yeah. But look at the piece here. Those touches are throughout the car. It's just the level of detail. Is it, you know, I'm even going to start on this side. Well, let me do this. Look at, you got to step back. Your bench seat. I've got couches with less cushioning in my house than <laughs> that. I'm telling you. And even the back. Look at the, the grip. The grip. The wonderful. Even the, this looks like it's got a little Hudson Hornet piece to it. Take a look at the hand grips. One of the reasons that this car was so successful in racing is if you notice, look, you're stepping, I'll, I'll do it this way. You're actually stepping down into this car. See that lip? How you come into it. So the uh, the base is low. It was known as the best handling race car of its time. Well, that's why it won due to that drop in uh, part of the body between the frame rails. How long have you had this one? I've had this one about uh, six years. A friend of mine had it in Hawaii when he was, he said he might sell it and I told him I was interested and a year and a half later he decided he didn't need it to go. Look at the script. The script is great. Yeah, I think that's an Art Deco style. That's just tremendous. See the word lights. The stock here. That's your turn signal? Yes. We've got neutral, drive, low, reverse. Off of that stock. What's this big pull handle? Is that a vent? Do you know? Yeah, yes. So. Okay. Yeah. There are little vents right in front of the windshield you can see. If you pull it, they pop up. Okay, yeah, okay, here. Yep. Right. What is this? I think that's a special mirror. And I'm sitting back in the chair. My hand doesn't reach 
I mean, if I lean forward, I can reach it, but just sitting here, you've got that much room in this car. Let me show this glorious heater. You got your your high high beam over here by the foot. That's a cool piece. And even this, look at that. This has a swing bar, so you could do here or out the side. And is this for your wipers, your antenna? I'm not sure. Turn it. Let's see what it does. All right. Yeah, it's for the antenna. It's for the Turns antenna. It down and then up. Turns it down and then up. Learning about our cars from the 50s. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Let me feature that door for a second. There's a lot going on there. These handles. How this is contoured, even that is just almost sculpted. I see what you're saying, like the, like the Hornet, the Rocket. Got it. And of course you're greeted with the Hudson. I don't know, that was probably seven minutes that it took me to slide across the front of that car. <laughs> so, 145 horsepower. Is that what the 145 is? I'm sure that's about what these are. Horsepower. Let's take a look at that engine, shall we? <laughs> yeah. That was great. The drawbridge. Well done. Nate, I love that. The drawbridge. Nate, make sure you watch this video because this might be the first time you could read these two or probably probably give you some knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> the twin H. All the information we can get. Yeah. What a unique, different engine. Flathead is end of an era. Mm-hmm. I like the splatter guards over the yeah the it's, manifold. So yeah, because they did leak. <laughs> factory yeah, was uh, part of the factory package. Fire prevention? Oh, how nice. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got the dual horns. We'll have to blow that 50s horn, of course. You know, but on a, on, on a sincere note, very simplistic, oh, right? Nice. I mean, other than the carburation and the twin, you know, uh, you know, fire extinguisher sitting on the top of it, so to speak, the look. But, I mean, really very simplistic and yet really well designed. A lot of work on styling, a lot of work on design, you know. The great logo. I mean, just look at all the detail just in each piece of the logo, which is the same on both sides. All right, let's fire it, shall we? I want to stand on this side just to... This looks like the action side.
Twin Age Power. All right, we'll shut that off. One more overall side shot of this Whopper. Wow. <laughs> That's early 50s at its finest. Matt, step right next to the car, please. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you can see all the cars. So much fun coming up to northern Arizona. How do you not enjoy how do you how do you decide how to drive them home? I mean, how do you pick? Uh it's difficult, but there's usually one for every occasion. <laughs> what occasion does this one go out on? Oh, this is cruising. Cruising night. This is cruising. Cruising yeah. night. Family out to dinner. Matt, thanks for letting us video your car. My pleasure. Thanks for coming.